In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an Active Directory domain group to your sudoers list. This is really handy if you've got domain accounts defined in Active Directory and you want them to inherit sudo permissions. So the first thing you're going to need to do is bring up a terminal window. Right now we're logged in as an Active Directory domain administrative account. But the problem is if we try and sudo a command, it fails with this message essentially telling us we're not in the sudoers file. So what we need to do is edit our sudoers file and since we can't pull up the command we need to switch to account that will. So first we use the su command and switch over to our local account that we set up in our previous tutorial. Then type in the password of the target account so this is locals password. Now we're logged in as local so the first thing we're going to do is open up the program vi sudo, which will bring up our sudoers list. So to do that, we type in sudo vi sudo, and then we can scroll down to the bottom. And this line here shows we have the members of the admin group. We want to add another group to this, so that I'm create a new line. Now since it's defined as a group, we start off with a percentage sign and then we're going to need our domain admin group. So to find this out, in another terminal window, type in ID while logged in as an Active Directory domain account and it will list your user ID, your group ID, and all the groups that you're a member of. And Then we can go back into your sudoers list so start off with your domain. So if our domain is domain.local, you simply type in domain, double backslash, and then the name of the group. So for instance, you could have local administrators. Then you'll type in all equals, and in brackets, all space all. Now if that group name is two words, you need to add a circumflex in between, so it'll look like this here, and that way it knows to skip over that space. And then hit Control O and Enter to write the file, and then Control X to quit. And now to test, to make sure that our changes to the sudoers list took effect, Simply go back to your Active Directory domain account and try a sudo command. So we'll try sudo gedit. And it works, proving that we're now part of the sudoers list and that every other domain admin that's part of the group that you added to the sudoers list will also inherit these permissions.